and I want to get rid of nose hair. Would you like to see it? Part of me that thinks that's way too tight, isn't it? I just want to throw up and then eat it again. What's up, my boy? What do you think? Welcome to the Nipsey Hustle cover band. I... Some dude at the gym was wearing a Nipsey Hustle shirt. I couldn't name one of their songs. They are. It is an artist, right? So, I don't know if you watched the end of yesterday's pod vlog where I edited the video in a very different format. It's much more chilled, much more relaxed. And it's tough because let's say my normal style is uh, there's a lot of tension. I'm trying to build up the tension. There's sound effects, there's audio, there's a lot going on. And I've been making this style of video for maybe a year, maybe a bit more. And you still find, this, may, this might just be my perception, but I still, I, I don't see this, uh, I don't see any feeling from people of, I can't wait for the next Odd Right, the next Oliver Wright video. Now I don't, I don't particularly want that because I want people to be hanging on what I'm saying, but I want that because I want people to enjoy that, the video that I create, like detach me from it and just like that piece. Like I want, I want people to watch this thing, enjoy it and be like, I can't wait for the next one of those. But there's not like as I'm I'm thinking through it. Yes, the storyline is unique, and I don't see many people write, creating a storyline like mine. But I do see other people doing this same kind of style of video, which is like I did this crazy thing. This is what happened as I went through it, and my thinking is that I want. Those videos are not a portrayal of me and my character. Like I'm on the fence about this. I'm leaning one way. So I've been, I got into storytelling videos because I wanted to just be more of me doing this thing. And then as I got further down this rabbit hole of learning how to tell a story, I put myself in this position of being just a character. I'm not necessarily Oliver Wright, but I'm a character. And the whole script is around making things dramatic, which is not me. And I'm not this high energy type of person. And so why am I making videos like that? I know the goal is to make a video that people really love and maybe I, I just feel like what I've been making is, is a very detached from me video. Is that the way I want to put it? Like I'm, I'm, I feel like I'm putting on this persona for this video because I feel like that persona has to be in this video for the video to perform well because my whole goal is to make this video do well. But like, what if it's the, like I focus on the storyline. So I still have my story, but I take out, I, I start making it, or I don't try to make it as dramatic. I make it interesting, but not as dramatic. And so watching it is more of a, this is a guy who did a thing and the focus is the experience versus the way the story is being told. 
I don't know if I'm articulating what I'm trying to get out. Like, let's take my, my storytelling knowledge, experience, and instead of, instead of creating a persona that makes that story better, what if I fit that sto merge that story with who I am as a person? So I sent the video last night to Kenny, uh, K Fergie on TikTok. Him and I talk quite a bit about content. And his sentiment was basically, I'm not really sure what the real point of it is, but it, this seems more like a shower thought. Um, but if that's the style you're going for, like a re relaxed style, then he really likes it and liked the idea that it feels like a back and forth between your past and present self almost conversational, which I like that style. And I think why I think I don't see, I don't see people doing this story style of video in a very conversational format. For the most part, it's dramatic with all the things that are happening. It's, it's for the views. I don't know. I am I'm pretty, I'm nervous about posting it. I think my first step is going to be to update the hook. I think the hook needs to be a bit more punchy. So it is currently... That is the face of a man who's lost to a cutthroat razor oh. as I've been trying to learn how to shave with it for all the wrong reasons. Okay. So in my head, the viewer should get the idea... And like, I'm kind of this this elephant idea that I'm dropping in something that makes the viewer think, well, like in this case, well, what are all the wrong reasons? Like you've been trying to learn it, but what do you mean you've been doing it all for the wrong reasons? What is that? But I wonder if it needs to be more direct. So I came up with a slightly different hook. This is the face of a man who's been losing to a cutthroat razor for all the wrong reasons on a journey to mastering the 200 year old skill. So it tells the viewer, it still has that elephant in there of for all the wrong reasons, but it tells the user that I've also the viewer that I'm also trying to master this super old skill. I think I'm gonna look at updating the hook to that and see how I feel about it. And just like, I don't have anything to lose by posting it but it's still nerve wracking, especially in this time where I feel like TikTok's in a bit of a, a lull in terms of just whatever their algorithm is doing, which is not a shadow ban type of thing. It happens every few months. It's super annoying, but then randomly, whatever video I post will just do really well after that. So it's like, so I don't know, something changes with the algorithm. Oh, seat belt. <laughs> uh, Mrs. is up with the baby. All right, what notes did I make? Oh wait, what's the plan for today? I'm not to see anything. All right, my plan for today is we'll adapt this hook and then, oh gosh, I think I will, I'll make plans for the next two, the next, oh gosh. I can't see anything. Well, I can see enough. One second. All right. Sorry, I had to demiss the window. Uh, yeah, plan out the nose waxing strip video. I might. I think over the next like 30 minutes, hour, I might try and think about 
do I make a different version of this video that is more along with my normal style? And do a comparison, just see what viewers think. I would really like to create a group of people who are interested in my videos where before I post the video, we sit in a call for like 15, 20 minutes, like a focus group, watch the video, people provide feedback and it has to be like brutally honest. I would rather people say, if they thought the video was crap, be like, Oliver, this is pretty shit. Then something like, oh, uh, I think it's okay. Yeah, like it's, it's okay. Like I like this bit about it. Like that kind of criticism doesn't really help me. I'd rather someone be like, this is, I don't know what the point of this is. I lost interest here. Don't even know what that means. Why have you got that in it? Those are some thoughts. Because right now I make a video and in my head, I know what's going on because I've planned it out and I've got all these different thoughts, but someone watching it without any of that context might just be like, the hell is this? I don't know how to create that focus group yet, but one day. All right, next time I'll see you, we'll be editing the hook. <laughs> I saw this shirt in my closet, wardrobe earlier, and I thought, oh, I like wearing jerseys over the top of hoodies. Maybe I'll try this on and see what it looks like. <laughs> Uh, it's just so tight. I think I bought this when I was like 14, whenever this season was. Is it so tight? I don't think I can... I don't think I can wear that, can I? That is just... That's way too tight, isn't it? Why didn't I buy a bigger size when I was 14, knowing that this day would come? Just stupid. All right, well... <clears throat> I think... I made some changes to the video. Would you like to see it? I think I'm going to post it today. Uh, let's have a look. I do like the outcome of it now. It's much more chilled, but it does have a hook. 5.4. Okay, let me put the mic here. That is the face of a man who's been... I guess I should share my screen, shouldn't I? All right, here we go. That is the face of a man who's been losing to a cutthroat razor on a journey to mastering the 200-year-old skill for all the wrong reasons, like wanting my wife to think I'm a real man. Stretching out my plump, juicy cheeks, I got up close and personal for the first few swipes. Bloody hell, look at them nose hairs. Poke those back in. I've been cutting myself every time. Shay suggested I try waxing strips. As if I'm not the wussy who struggles on the needle mat. Jinkies. Or finds a sauna too hot. So I just practice going really slow. A little bit lopsided. It's okay though. It's not okay. I started using a cutthroat razor because I thought it was just super masculine, but then I realized I actually kind of just wanted to master the age old skill. Oh, good that looks. That's only half true because one time I saw MGK using it and I kind of wanted to try it too. Oh. I tell you what, those nose hairs, we've got to do something about that, haven't we? Those are outrageous. You want to have a look? Honestly, just a nose trimmer would have been a good idea, but Shay's waxing idea took me in a different direction. Just thought of the nose waxing kit, so that'll be fun. Like, I know we all have busy lives and Amazon returns to do, but sometimes just slowing down and enjoying the process <laughs> is just what we need. Just the one cut is definitely an improvement. That is the... What do you think? I like it. So I've got about two hours before we leave and the nose waxing video is going to be a follow up to this one. But it's also going to be a like a second trial for Panasonic, which would be huge. And um, 
However, this video does is going to be like a tell of whether I go with a similar type of style for the next video. I guess I can still have the same storyline and I just adapt the the way I speak. Right? So let's work on the storyline. Yeah, let me get let me get this desk up to a decent height and maybe take off this shirt. It feels very bloody tight around here. What's up my boy? So the we're going to start recording. Did I, did I did I record another bit this morning for this? Did the football shirt? <laughs> okay. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry. All right. The video I posted the video on TikTok and it seems to be good so far. A couple of thousand. Um, if it was going to be awful, it would have dropped off already, and they would have been coming in a bit slower. So. Um, that's a good sign. Like I, I like that thought. Of course, I like that thought. Stupid. What I mean is, like that's um, it's nice to get that bit of feedback uh, for something that I've changed, and hoping that people enjoy. It's good to see that they like it a bit. <clears throat> uh, I was actually I was chatting to Beard of the South, Dustin. And we were saying how the where, like, um, you would expect to add in audio. <laughs> One second. <laughs> we were saying that music and sound effects normally add to the story, don't they? But actually, by taking away away them. By taking them away, it allows you to focus on the story a bit more and you know, what's happening, like the progression through it. So, interesting. We'll see how it does. All right, so, nose waxing. So, the thought I have is that we do, again, because this is going to be the like semi Panasonic partnership. It's not a partnered post, but it's almost like a, a secondary trial. It's a free one I'm doing. So if we have, uh, I want to integrate nose waxing and nose trim trimmer. And so what are some things about me I'm a wussy, but I'm okay with what I don't love. Like, I don't like being out in the cold. I don't like things that are painful, like the needle mat. It's not painful as such, but you know, I don't love the pain, but I'm more than happy to push myself through it. And nose waxing is not going to be comfortable. So I'm thinking, <coughs> <coughs> sorry, that. I think I'm going to do this very loosely, kind of like yesterday it was, we had two things in the video, like I allowed myself just to shave normally and tell the story around that versus the story driving the things that happen. So I think if we, the setup one is to try wax. Uh, point of no return is try it on leg. Um, catch is of course that it bloody hurts. I think that goes without saying. And then I think so like, why is the person staying for this video? They're staying because they want to see someone get their nose waxed, right? So if I, if I wax my nose, so if I get one of them up in my nostrils, if I pull it out and then I'm like, oh no, I'm, I don't know if I can do another one and then do the nose trimmer, 
the person's like, oh, okay, I got what I needed. I'm gone. So I think that, oh, here's a nice little twist. The setup one is to, so I, I put it in nose, right? And then the, oh wait. So I want to put it in my nose. So I put it in my nose. And the catch is that uh, not ready to pull it out. Right, and we can put a nice little sexual innuendo in there. Beautiful. I saw this video, uh, and it was like a 55-year-old dude, and he sat with his top off, he's got big muscles, um, tattoos on his arms. He sat on the couch with his arms out like this, and it's the TikTok audio that goes, and then it goes, ugh, fuck, right? It's so good. The caption is when you slide it in. Oh, gosh. Oh, and he sat there on the couch. He goes, caption up top. Oh, fuck. It's just like, oh, make me want to. Oh. Makes me want to throw up and then eat it again. I'd, I'd rather do that than. Oh. Okay, sorry. Slight tangent. Um, the catch, not ready to pull it out. So try wax on my leg, whatever the reaction is there, whatever happens there. And then I'm like, uh, I'm like questioning, hmm. My thought is that I, I question if this is, like, do I need to be waxing my nose or can I just use a nose trimmer? Which is like the crisis point. So then I could switch to just using a nose trimmer. But that's, it's so late in the video to bring in the product. So I can like I can show the product somewhere else in the shot, just so like it exists. How do I allude to that? Oh wait. Here we go. Um, so I put it. I, I want to. Oh, stupid. I want to. What time is it? Wax my nose. I want to wax nose. No, that's not right. I want to get rid of nose hair. After noticing in other video. Okay. So the hook is going to cover doing a nose waxing. So I put it in my nose, but I'm not ready to pull it out because it bloody hurts. So I test it on my leg. But what if, okay, and somewhere in here, how do I integrate the like shaver or trimmer so that it, you know, when it, when it comes up that I would use it, it's a bit more, it doesn't feel as much like, here's a product that you should go and buy. It's more like, oh, he used it here earlier, just kind of nonchalantly. And so when I see it used now, it's not a shock to the system. So I try waxing on my leg.
uh, in several places. Here we go. Uh, first is painful. So I use shaver to cut off others. Right, I quite like that. So uh, one of the key points to the shaver is that there are lots of different heads that you can put on it. And so I want to show that there are lots of heads that come with it. And so if I can show that I take off like the toothbrush head and then use the put on the trimmer head, use that. And then I switch over to using the nose hair trimmer part. First is painful, so I use shaver to cut off the others. Yes. Um, some, I, I mean, maybe some like, I don't know how to integrate this yet, but thoughts of um, pushing through pain, like some message, message. pushing through pain, but don't always have to. Right? I don't know what this part looks, geez, looks like yet. So then, um, right, and then this would actually lead into Uh, difference between nose hair trimmer and waxing. Uh, So then the climax. What if instead of pulling it, I just I, like I put the end into a drill bit and just turn it and see what happens. Might be kind of interesting. Hmm. You know what I think would be really interesting? <clears throat> like it's something that I want to do, but I, I don't want to make it like I'm overdoing it for the video, is attach it to, a, like tie a piece of cord to it, attach it to a drone and like fly the drone off and see if that will yank it out of my nose. Uh, so I think I do, maybe I do the, Try nose trimmer. Right, I think that actually would make sense because it's like I've taken off the head from the shaver here, so why couldn't I? Like, I'll just switch heads to trying the trimmer on the nose because I want to see if the difference is there. And then this crisis point is. Overthinking. I 
I feel like I do, I do think it would be funny to do it with the drone. Like maybe I link it back to pulling a tooth out as a kid with a door, like tying a string to the door. Not sure yet. Uh, so like, I could easily just like pull with hand. Banana is think back to tying it to door. And use drone. Like here is where I'm thinking that actually, like if I'm doing a super honest style, I can explain that I wanted to see if, like, how do I get that across that I wanted to see if the drone could do it? Uh, Yeah. Like, and then the finale is like painful things, like, don't always have to be unenjoyable. So, like, the flaw is that I'm a wussy. And the strength is that I find ways to overcome fear. I don't know. Just, you know, for want of a better term. All right, so we have the hook. And then I want to get rid of nose hair after noticing it in that video. <clears throat> so I put a wax strip in my nose. But as I like wiggle it around, I can't bring myself to pull it out yet. So then I try the waxing on my leg in several places. And the first one is so painful that I use the shaver. I change the toothbrush to the shaver head to cut off the others. Maybe I don't need because this is going to come at the end, isn't it? And then, yeah, like I can have this part as I'm getting ready to, as I'm like setting the drone up. Yeah. I quite like that. I think that's quite good. All right, how's this video doing now? Forty-five hundred. So that's pretty decent. Weirdly, likes aren't particularly great on it. So 4,500 views, I would like to see 450 likes, but it's only at 320. Hmm. Which I would say means there wasn't enough of a payoff for the average viewer. Interesting. Okay, all right, well, I quite like this. I think I think this is going to be a short pod vlog today, um, but as we drive over this weekend, I think I'll use this new kind of style to think of how I would do the 
uh, cryotherapy and the sauna video. So those are going to be split into two videos. Um, the infrareds, so to explain, I bought a package of three what they call core services and two of those are the infrared sauna and cryotherapy. So I've done the infrared sauna and I thought, what if I do cryotherapy and then infrared sauna immediately after, because that's what a lot of people suggested. So I can easily make those into two videos. I do the cryotherapy as its own video and then I can use the footage and thoughts from that to merge that in with a second video where I then go into the infrared sauna immediately after. Now there's a part of me that thinks that's kind of scammy because I could just make that into one video. But if I make that into one video, then I don't get to explain, I don't get to share as much about the single experience of the cryotherapy, right? So it's, to me, there's no part of me that's thinking I'm splitting this out because then I can make more videos and more likes and more follows and this crap. I'm thinking I get the opportunity to make two different stories. So like when I see someone comment on a video that's like, you could easily have put this into one video. It's like, I'm not doing this for the views. I'm doing it because I enjoy the whole, pr like making it process. So that kind of thing kills me, but I'm not gonna die in a ditch over it. Cool. Okay, buddy, my boy. See you Friday now. See you on Monday. I won't see you on Monday because you'll see this Monday. So I'll see you on Tuesday. Yeah. All right. Later. <laughs> all right. Final thought. Um, you could argue that this in itself isn't particularly like raw and authentic because I plan out the video and things to do. But like in my head, this is these are things that I try. Like how do I, so, so I'm going to go and do this thing of nose waxing. But if I just, if I did it, forgot about making a video, I would just, I'd put the nose wax strip in and I would just, I'd be like, oh my gosh, it really hurts. And then I would just pull it out and that's that. Like maybe I would try and do it with the drone or something, but creating a plan is like how I want to go about this thing but also it makes it entertaining for someone else to watch. Cause I'm not like, if I just yeah, did it on my own, it's not going to be entertaining. So yeah. All right. See ya. <laughs>